I understand from reading about you, a little bit about you, that um, you had kind of a tough experience growing up. You want to talk about it a little bit? I did. And it's, funny, and it's funny, I should tell you, almost every comedy writer I've ever met <laughs> has had a bad childhood. I'm sure there's some psychological connection there somewhere, but... Well, we'll try to find it. Yeah, okay. Well, how much time you got? <laughs> it started out, uh, I mean, I, I was, you know, you hear about crack babies, I was a speed baby. My mom was hooked on speed from before I was born until I was in uh, mid-grade school, probably fourth grade. Uh, so I, I kind of grew up in, a, in that kind of a home. Um, I had uh, two older brothers who were adopted by my grandparents, didn't know about that until later. And uh, it's a very complicated family. Um, and an older sister who ran away when I was in, in, in junior high. Uh, and a mom who, a single mom who was uh, on drugs and had a lot of strange people in and out of the home. So that's kind of kind of how I grew up. Wow, it sounds like a pretty devastating situation. Was there, was there a turning point that got you to a place of hope? Well, you know, as a kid, um, you know, all the other families I knew were the same way. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was always around other very poor um, uh, families that, that had parents who were either absent or uh, drug addicted. Uh, so you kind of got, I don't know how else to put it, you kind of got used to it. You didn't, I didn't really know much better. It wasn't until uh, later years, uh, junior high, high school, I started to get to know kids, strangely enough, Christian kids, and I thought, wow, there's something different here. And that's where the hope began. I mean, I always had hope that there was something better for my future when, you know, as time went by and I realized this, this isn't quite right. I hit junior high, high school, I realized this is, this is awful. This is absolutely not right. Uh, and, I di and I did want something much better. Were there any positive adult influences in your life at this Very point? few, very few. My grandfather was the closest thing I had, um, but it still, it still wasn't ideal, and very, very few. When I was in uh, junior high, I got asked by some cute girls to uh, go to church. Now, I had been... Uh, I, I had that experience. Did you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's called missionary dating. Yeah, well, I don't recommend well, it. Well, they didn't, they, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't ask to date me. They just asked, uh, asked, invited me to come to church, and I did. And I and I, uh, I heard the pastor speak, and I and he was talking about um, everybody's a sinner. Uh, and the, the thing that kept getting to me was he would say, "Everybody's a sinner, and without without Christ, you're heading for hell." take my hand, and I don't ever want to be alone again. With comedy, I can put a gospel message in there and make it fun, and make it funny, and a kid can take it, and uh, parents can take it, and they can give it to the neighbor kid for his birthday, and they will allow this gospel message in their home because it makes them laugh. 